Get going, you know how I get going. Well, Chase, just talk about the experience here. You got on the podium for another time at World Indoors. What was it like? Really good, you know, I, it was better than I thought. I almost didn't compete today, so I'm pretty excited. Um, like, it's way better than I ever could have thought it would be. I know, like, most people would be like, oh, like, you're a world champion, like, but this is, like, quite a lot for me because I had to change my technique last minute and stuff because um, what happened to me yesterday. So I'm pretty, pretty, I'm really happy. Like, I'm so happy. What happened yesterday? I, I hurt my groin in practice. Um, and I, it was really hard, I think, more mentally because I, was, I got a little discouraged, like, right away because you immediately go, like, the world is ending, you know, <laughs> like you come to worlds. But then I think I, I even cried in the warm up area just because I felt like frustrated. But I just talked to my coach and we were like, all right, let's just change the entry, like slow it down, keep it quite light and just do what you can do. And it, it turned out okay. And for such a steep competition, I'm really happy with how it went. Is there any fear, like, with Paris on the horizon of making things worse by going out there and competing with that? That was a big issue. Like, that was what I was worried about. But I talked, obviously, I talked to my medical staff. They're really good. And, and they wouldn't have let me go out there if they thought it would have done anything. And with, the, with what they're thinking it is, it, I don't think it would have been a difference. So they were like, just kind of play it. Like, if you start feeling this or that, then obviously just stop. Yep. But I didn't. It felt fine. Um, but, yeah, they, they're really good about that. They... They had me ready as well last night. They, you know, they were like, I just, we're trying to mentally prepare you for maybe not being able to compete. But, you know, I, I figured it out and I'm, I'm pretty happy about it. It, it. I think it hurts more now. It didn't really hurt when I was competing, but there's, there's always in the back of your head, there's no way you can go full out is there when you know something's wrong. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, like, as you're going through the rounds, were you thinking, like, oh, I'm a little bit worried, or were you locked into the competition? I feel I was, I was pretty locked in, and, like, I'm, I'm, I was, like, feeling good. It didn't really hurt. It's starting to hurt now, I think, because the adrenaline wears off. But, like, I felt super good, but I just know subconsciously, like, I could tell in, in the way my throws were that I wasn't doing all I could do. And, you know, you can only go out and do as much as you can, you know, but... Um, regardless like the girls did so good and it was nice to even just be part of that so i'm happy with that another 220s over for an indoor chance just like last time pretty excited you kind of addressed it you sound like you're kind of gratified that you made it through you did the competition you were kind of impaired and, and performing anyway. yeah i think that like i said like i think um, I was telling my coach, like, I'm more happy that I was able to, like, I was probably, like, the most excited bronze medalist you'll, you'll ever see because I was just like, oh, my God, like, I was able to change my throw the night before and even the day of, and I was able to, like, make it work. So, like, to me, that showed me a lot of, like, my development as an athlete and going into Paris, that confidence, I think, is important. This is ridiculous. Like,